spacefaring nations continue their Earth observation work in collaboration with a number of organizations. The refinement of orbital positioning and unhindered high-speed communications mean more new technologies craft are being added to the armada of observation satellites. Europe's Copernicus program with no fewer than three Sentinel satellite launches. In March, Sentinel-2B will be launched carrying a wide swathe high-definition multispectral imager. With Sentinel-2A already on orbit, both Sentinel-2 satellites will monitor land cover, vegetation and water pollution. Now that we get Sentinel-2B to fly together with Sentinel-2A, there's a couple of improvements that we get so far. We have a revisit of 10 days. With Sentinel-2B we will have a revisit of 5 days. That means we see every spot on Earth every 5 days. That will help, of course, also to avoid the clouds or to have the chances higher to have no clouds in the various regions of the world. Uh, both together, Sentinel-2A and 2B will also improve the performance of the services that are using the data. Sentinel-2B is uh, contributing to a constellation of uh, Sentinel satellites, which really provides data over decades uh, for of the different uh, uh, domains and with different instruments on board. So therefore, we're building up a fully operational system, which is uh, enough incentive for industry to invest and to, to rely on this information in the future. supporting a lot of applications. They're ranging from, for example, agricultural applications where we can do yield forecast to uh, forest monitoring where we, for example, see deforestation. And uh, besides that, there's plenty of other applications like inland water where we can look at the quality of the, of the water. We can support river monitoring, but also uh, um, coastal areas where we look at the um, changes in the coastal regions. On top of that, we recently changed uh, also to acquire the Antarctic region, so we're also now looking at ice and glaciers. Later in the year, two more Sentinels, Sentinel-5P and Sentinel-3B, will follow. The Sentinel-5 precursor mission is a satellite dedicated to monitoring our atmosphere at a high temporal and spectral resolution. It also offers increased cloud-free observation. A second satellite, which is a replica of the first one, is of course shorter uh, to develop and to test. Uh, the, the main effort when you develop a new system is put on the first spacecraft, where you discover basically all the early problems uh, in uh, equipment production, software validation, integration and test. All the specifications, plans, uh, test procedures are ready whenever you start building your second spacecraft. This is of course a large benefit. The second spacecraft, let's say, was uh, realized in one and a half year time. Uh, the cost as well, of course, of a recurring spacecraft is much cheaper than a proto-flight spacecraft. You could say basically it's 50% of the price of the first one. Sentinel-3B is a multi-instrument mission to measure sea surface topography, sea and land surface temperature, and ocean and land color. We are addressing uh, uh, a number of issues that relate to the development of new science, but also operational missions, for example, Earth Explorer missions, scientific missions, but also we are preparing the next generation of Sentinel missions for Copernicus. five to ten years in Earth observation, we will face a number of challenges, some of them coming from outside. Big data, constellations, commercial companies entering our domain. And I think there we really have to see, as ESA, as European Space Agency, a public institution, how we can best react to these external challenges and position ourselves with our programs to, to really address these challenges from our perspective. Demonstrating new laser technology, ESA is launching the ADM Aeolus satellite. ADM stands for Atmospheric Dynamics Mission. It will provide global observation of wind profiles. With this mission, ESA hopes to further our knowledge of the Earth's atmosphere and weather systems.